Unification is called Distant Threat and it is being played on Dead of Night. We have three mutators active. We have Bureau Firebeam, we have Long Range, and we have Time Warp. Uh, overall, it is a relatively straightforward set of mutators. Um, the Long Range does kind of make it a little bit annoying when it comes to dealing with some of the ranged infested units. A pure fire beam will keep harassing you as you uh, walk around the minimap, but uh, again, like as long as you keep your army moving, uh, pure fire beam won't really be able to catch up with you. Time warp can get a little uh, tricky if uh, you uh, do get caught in them, but again, not really a very difficult set of mutators here. Uh, we have uh, Hand Horner and Tychus that will be going to uh, go ahead and uh, deal with us. Um, yeah, more or less uh, relatively straightforward. Uh, we have a few magmines now that are getting put down, and this, these magmines will provide the hand horner with an early bit uh, of uh, defensive ability. And uh, once Tychus is out, which will happen at the three minute mark, uh, should not be terrible to uh, go ahead and uh, defend during the first night. Now, basically, the goal is when uh, when you are playing on this mission, you kind of want to clear before uh, night number uh, night number three, because night number three is where you have your special infested spawning. And uh, once you have once you have your special boss infested that spawn, like the Stanks and the Nice Worms, uh, that is where uh, things can get very, very tricky and very annoying. So Stanks and Nice Worms, not particularly fun to deal with. Uh, the special infested that spawn during you know the first few nights, kind of annoying, but not terrible either. So uh, yeah, there we go. So we see Hanhorn already building an assault galleon, and a few reapers are already on the way to uh, to provide a little bit of uh, extra um, damage and defensive ability. So here we have Tychus and Rattlesnake now that are ready, and I think they are probably gonna go and uh, start attacking these structures here. So they can actually push in the early stage of the game. Yeah, so he's gonna go and take out these uh, this bunker. And uh, no shredder grenade, unfortunately, on Tychus, which was pretty much one shot for those units here. But now this entire area has been cleared, and now Tychus can, uh, can start attacking this site. Now, unfortunately, if it is a choker, like in this scenario, uh, bad things can happen. So the choker has actually hit Tychus, but because he has Rattlesnake out, let's keep him alive here. So, this is one of the drop points for the special infested. Um, and this can actually uh, make it very difficult for Tychus to uh, keep pushing in here, especially because if you have chokers or huntlings, uh, they can get very, very annoying uh, to deal with. You see here, Hanhorner is already going up to an armory, and now eventually the strike fire platforms will be put down to uh, to help start clearing. Uh, there are enough Reapers here to be able to hold for the early stages of the game, um, but uh, eventually Hanhorner might need some assistance in uh, in, uh, in in defending these uh, this uh, this entrance here. There's an aberration here, where the aberration is going. Seems to be going somewhere else. I'm not really sure where or why it's going there, but uh, there we go. So now we have one of the first attack waves that's coming up, one of the infested attack waves. Uh, these ones, uh, on this mission, um, I think something to note is that the infested don't really attack consistently. You can see here that there's a gather point on this side. So what usually happens is the infested gather at a certain point, and then they will go into an attack wave, and you'll see a big flood of infested that uh, send, that comes up to attack uh, you. In addition to the trickle spawn, so this is a random trickle, and now you can see there's a small attack wave that's coming up here. And uh, this is something else to note as well is like you know you do they do attack in kind of like pulses. So uh, that is something else to take into consideration when you are putting up your defenses on this mission. Over here, Tychus is doing okay though. He has cleared out all the structures on the side, and now he wants to start clearing towards the other side as well, leaving Han Horner to defend by themselves, which uh, right now is okay. But the Reapers are slowly starting to get overwhelmed by the sheer number of vests. And there we go. There is an attack wave that's coming up now, and uh, the the Choker has actually uh, caught a few of the Reapers here and is uh, causing a little bit of damage reduction here. But now there are some magmines that do trigger off on uh, some of these infested, and it will end up uh, dealing with that, but now the Choker has actually grabbed hold of that Assault Galleon, and now all these Reapers are going to end up going down. There are a few, uh, there is a Strike Fire that goes down onto that Choker, but that Choker is not going to get cleaned up very uh, anytime soon. And uh, now we have a few more magmines over here that are uh, um, on this side. Tychus, on the other hand, is not really dealing with the Choker here. 
And uh, with the loss of the one assault galleon, it does slow down Han Horner's capability, especially with that choker over here. The chokers are really annoying to deal with, so there are another bunch of magmines to get dropped, or another uh, strike fire to get uh, thrown onto this choker over here. But again, uh, there is again a few more magmines to get uh, thrown off, but I think that assault galleon is also going to end up going down, but now I'm to do burn away. But now, a few more uh, strike fire platforms are getting put down, and once Han Horner gets enough strike fire platforms, they can actually use those to, uh, to start clearing the enemy uh, structures very quickly. So we have Tychus and Rattlesnake on this side, and uh, what is Tychus planning to do? Upgrade complete. Okay, Tychus is basically gonna wait for. Um, let me see what happens here. Okay, so there is a um, there is a call in the fleet that gets used here, and this will soften the enemy defenses on this side. I'll also provide a little bit of uh, enemy defenses. Uh, so, some of the softening of the enemy defenses and will allow a little bit of vision so that when the uh, strike fire platforms are raised, they can actually end up clearing these structures out. Uh, Tychus is already clearing, cleared up this side, which, uh, effectively. And now, uh, Han Horner is going to start using the strike fire platforms with a napalm upgrade. Unfortunately, there was a miss there onto that, but uh, it's going to start clearing the uh, those uh, those structures out. So you can see here, getting the napalm upgrade, it just makes Han Horner such a great commander for clearing out uh, structures on this mission. Uh, you basically fire a, a strike fire in the middle of these structures, and you can take out two structures at the very least with one strike fire. And sometimes, if you get lucky, you can take out three or four structures. And uh, this is uh, this can also work during the nighttime, which is why Han Horner is just completely rushing get these uh, strike fire platforms done because uh, Tychus's defense during the nighttime is uh, pretty much non-existent right now because the ally does not seem to be interested in defending and, and just uh, trying to go ahead and push. So uh, Han Horror is going to now try and push again with the Reapers just to provide a little bit more assistance as well and uh, just try and uh, just clear out as many structures as they can in the early stages of the game when the mission is still uh, is, when it's still the easiest uh, the easiest phases. Some more structures over here, they're getting cleaned up. You can see over here that one strike fire has hit three structures. Those three structures will end up burning down. And, uh, yeah. Uh, three structures are gone right now. And for the most part, I think uh, pretty much uh, there's a biodome over here, which is a little bit tanky. Uh, one of the things that should be prioritized are these biodomes by your army, because uh, it takes a lot more strike fires to take out the biodome than it does to take out these other small infested colonist huts and whatnot. Over here, Tychus uh, is uh, working away through, and he's going to end up cleaning up these uh, the last bit of structures on this side as well. I think there may be a few more on here. I think there may be a few more structures on this side, but uh, that is pretty much uh, cleared up. And now the second pure fire beam has also joined in on the fun. Han Horner is going to move their army now back to the base here, and uh, all the strike fire platforms are done, and they are built for the most part, I think. Now there's still a few more that needs to. Uh, there's yeah, there's just basically one more left that needs to be constructed. And now Han Horner is basically just going to go ahead and just build some more reapers and start defending on this side. Atticus has left that last structure up for some reason. Okay, now he decides to turn back now and go and deal with that last structure. Uh, Han Horner has cleaned up uh, a bunch of these ones here, but uh, now uh, we have also Blaze that has come out to uh, join in on the fun. But uh, with these 10 strike fire platforms, it should be very easy for Han Horner to start clearing. Uh, it out. And you can see here. Uh, more strike fires are being thrown into these areas, and uh, they will end up uh, cleaning up the rest of these structures here. So there was a little bit of a miss there. The last one over here, cleaning up that, and uh, that area is uh, pretty much uh, done now. There's a few more over here, so that one, those ones will again get targeted down by the strike fires. And uh, so far, the defenses are kind of holding. Unfortunately, some of the assault gallons have gone down. Han Horner's defense is not really too great on this mission. Like, Han Horner does need uh, ally assistance here. Some of the assault gallons have also been cleared because, uh, yeah, the ally is uh, basically going ahead and uh, just ignoring the defense uh, entirely, which uh, is causing a few problems because it means Han Horner has to defend when they are actually the more effective commander at uh, pushing and clearing, um, during the, at least during the early stages of the game. So uh, there's another space station reallocation now that gets dropped. Unfortunately, you really want to use the space station to to weaken the enemy forces here, but uh, it has to be used to prevent like these enemy units from taking out these uh, structures here, which is already well, something that is happening. Blaze uh, and Co have uh, arrived back at the base here. 
there is no oil spill onto these infested. These spotters now are also causing some problems, taking out some hand horns, uh, strike fire platforms here. And again, some more, some more napalm just to provide a little bit of a wall here to uh, to just weaken the infested units. And now there are a ton of spars. So hand horn drops uh, some of the rates. Uh, you just clean up these uh, these bars on the side, and over here it seems to be relatively okay. Again, some more napalm gets dropped here just to take out these infested units. Got some magbines to clean up this, uh, these aberrations here, and uh, now a hand owner's army is uh, relatively strong enough to deal on one side. But uh, again, there are uh, a few more structures that are left that need to be cleaned before uh, like number three happens, and it, it'll be a rush for time. Again, like Han Horner is just completely starting to clear out this uh, this, uh, this this side of the base here. A few more structures on this side as well. And now day number three has begun uh, with the loss of a few strike fire platforms. So those those uh, those structures will have to be rebuilt uh, at some point. There's one more structure on this side, and now we have Terra. And because we're dealing with a Terra uh, wave here, we might actually end up with a few nukes that might be causing some problems. Look at Sam walks into the purifier beams at the moment. And it gets caught in time warp as well. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, are there any missile turrets? Okay, there is a missile turret that is coming out right now. It might be a little bit too late because the ghost might be in position already and making its way towards the side. But uh, again, we have uh, we have a nuke that gets dropped here, which is kind of wasteful. But maybe this to to draw to deal with uh, the ghost academy here. And again, there was a ghost on this side. Gets detected by the raven. And now we have some more assault galleons being coming uh, being put into a position to go and deal with this side. A call in the fleet gets used here to again soften these enemy defenses. The enemy defenses on this ramp are really really strong, so uh, just going ahead and move up that side. And now uh, Handhorn is going to start clearing out this side. There are a few hybrids here, but there are a few wraiths to uh, help deal with. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, these, these tankier units here. The Reapers are not really too great for dealing with the extra DPS here. And uh, I guess is on this side apparently. Um, again, Han Horner just completely carpet bombing this entire area, clearing out these uh, these structures here. And uh, for the most part, a lot of the structures are uh, are pretty much uh, well, wiped from that entrenchment here. There are a few structures at the bottom that need to be addressed. But uh, yeah, Tychus is basically attacking this side as well. One minute and ten seconds left on the timer. It might be possible to actually clear up that side. Unfortunately, there's still again a lot of a lot of defenses here. There's a siege tank that was parked on that side, dealing a little bit of damage to Han Horner's army. But uh, now Tychus is starting to push into here and uh, he'll be able to take out some of the structures. He uses a demolition charge onto that biodome, which is I guess okay. A few more infested structures on here. But now there's a secret missile that goes down to the race. Pull back on the race to deactivate that secret missile. Now there's going to be a uh, final clearing on uh, these set of structures here. So again, few more, uh, few more napalm drops onto this side, and uh, these uh, these infested structures will also end up going down. And uh, yeah, there you go. You can see the effectiveness of the uh, of the napalm payloads over here. So again, lots of uh, infested structures just getting cleaned up so fast by uh, by hand Warner. And uh, yeah, we basically have maybe about four or five structures left. There's one over here, and there are two more over there, which will end up being cleaned up. There's one more as well that ends up uh, surviving there. It's really difficult to see the markers. The Virophage has spawned, and I believe Tychus will probably just ignore that and just go straight for that. Unfortunately, I do not know whether it is viable to try and defend during that time, because Tychus is going to take forever to deal with it. He gets hit by a choker as well in the process. And uh, yeah, that might be uh, really annoying for Tychus, but he is trying to go ahead and deal with that. And uh, yeah, there is another napalm on this. There's one last uh, structure that is left over here, and now these uh, these infested units are starting to take over the overrun this uh, this base here. But the virophage does end up going down, and now a last set of strike fires do end up dropping their payload onto this last structure over here. And uh, there we go. That is the last structure taken out, and uh, that is GG.